Hey there everybody, Thet here, and welcome back to Thet Plays RimWorld Alpha 17. We are reinforcing our walls a bit, making them a little bit stronger, making it a little bit harder for enemies to try to come at us, bro. And, I think, I like what we're doing with our steel as well. We are making weapons, we're selling them. We made a sale recently, actually. Had a couple of masterwork swords for sale. I think this is a good idea. Just in general. I have a huge order right here to make some long swords. I should probably make some other weapons too, although clubs are just garbage, apparently. Are there any guns that I could make that would be, like, decent or anything like that? I could make power armor and sell that too. But my, my idea is make stuff, sell stuff, get money... Turn money into more components and mainly plasteel. So if I build weapons, I don't want to use plasteel. Components are fine to use. I can use components, which means LMGs are an option. Charge rifles are not an option because they take plasteel. What else? What about the 50 cal? What does that take? Steel and component. A lot of components, though. So we won't be able to make very many of those if we decide to make any. Let's see, what else is an option here? Right now, I'm liking LMGs a lot. They don't cost much to make. The uh, minigun is insane on components, so I'm not doing that. Power armor costs a lot of plasteel, so that's kind of right out as well. I believe even the armor vest takes a lot of plat. No, nah, the armor vest doesn't take any plasteel. We could make some ar armor vest for our team. Now, let's make 10 armor vests. That's going to be, what, 20 components and 20, well, 1,200 steel. Which we have both of. So yeah, let's make 10 armor vest. Just to uh, make us all a little bit better on that front. And Volpe did pick up that uh, advanced steel helmet that we got. Which was a good price. At least I think that's the one that we bought. I don't remember for sure. Now that I think of it. <laughs> I just know that we bought one. But that's okay. Someone will wear it eventually. if Even if she's not the one who has it right this second. And we will find that it will be good. Silvermane, cleaning up in here after those guys. Wooden auto door breaking down. Not a problem. Not really a problem at all. We're reinforcing them walls. They're going up relatively quickly. We're going to want to move these precision turrets out a bit, though. Just to make up for that. Probably what I'm going to do is just move this up, like, two or three spots. Like so. There you go. Open this up. And then slap that right in the middle there. Animals coming out to eat grass. I like it. Growth of our crops is pretty good. Got some corn over here. It's not doing too well. And freaking Machiavelli over here is demanding to eat some of it. Like a jerk. I'm okay with it, though. You know what? I'm not going to complain nearly as much about what they're doing as far as food. As long as they're alive and they're not starving, I'm generally okay. I've gotten the uh, impression that every time I complain a little bit about the food, even if I'm being a little bit over the top, you guys are all like, well, didn't limit where they can go, you dinkus. Well, I want them eating my meals, because I'd rather them not starve to death. I'd rather them eat my meals. Now, we're getting to the point, and I'm hoping to be there very soon, where I don't need them eating my meals anymore, and I can restrict them from this area again. But until that time comes, I need them to be able to eat whatever they can eat to survive. Also gotten a few suggestions that it's about time to start a new series, which I totally understand. We are at a point where we are extremely strong. Challenges are few and far between. Annoyances are relatively common, but true challenges are becoming a little bit more rare. There are still some combinations of raiders and events that could really hurt us a lot. Like we're gonna have, we're gonna probably spend at least a year playing catch up with our vegetable game. And even with the vegetable game getting caught up, our meat game is starting to get a little bit worrisome as well. So, yeah, there's still some places to go. But, in general, I'm not going to even consider leaving until our spaceship is done. Because we kind of literally can't leave until the spaceship is done. But, you know, that's not the biggest concern. In fact, I'm thinking, like, just to get this to connect to there, we could just do doot 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 doot. It ain't the prettiest thing in the world. No, 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 don't even pretend it is, but it'll work. It'll keep all that connected, and it'll give us access to the computer core for repairs and stuff like that. So, yeah, this will be our ship. Once that is done, then we could stack people along here and get ready to go. 
again, let me check how many, uh, you know, we're, we're gonna put that, the blueprints for these in as well, just because we can't ship. Dismas failed while constructing. Well, he's, he's, that's okay. I'll live with it. All right, so, oh, I can't actually put these in yet. That's right. So I would need one, hmm. I guess it will work the same no matter how I stack this, won't it? Yeah. So, because I still have to have one space there. So we could do one, two, three, four. And we could do four on the other side. That's eight. Have a couple lying down here. That'll be nine and ten. And then another couple right here. That'll be eleven and twelve. And then thirteen and fourteen. And then fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. I think I already did that math before, and it works out. Psychic Soothe is ending. I mean, our mood, I think, in general, for our colony is good enough where I'm not having to be too worried about that. Clear allowed area. No egg zone already doesn't allow in there. Okay, most of our animals have the no egg zone. I believe Machiavelli is the only one that's allowed in there right now, which is all well and fine. Yeah, we got these coming up. Got these coming up good now. Let's go ahead and deconstruct this area of the chain link fence. We could build another one right in there to have that all you know, rounded out, in a way. But yeah. It's coming together pretty well, and we still have 500 sandstone to deal with. Nothing to worry about, yo. How you doing, Mrs. Pig? Oh yeah, and also these IED traps, with wooden pitfall traps in front of them, just in case the enemies, you know, get smart and want to try to, you know, attack us right here. I mean, they'll have the precision turret to deal with, which is getting moved. And this one over here will be able to shoot them as well. In fact, this one in behind it will be able to shoot them too. So, you know, it's not an easy path. But it's a path nonetheless. In fact, I'm pretty... Why am I building on top of where I'm standing? I am such a dinkus. I am such a... I mean, I look like I'm just lighting myself on fire. Oh my god, I look like the dumbest man. I've done it. I don't know what I've done, but I've done it. Gonna have more alpacas soon, by the way. But yeah. Get all that done. I mean, there's plenty of coverage. I'm pretty sure ever since I got the full coverage on the turrets themselves... I mean, look at it. It's freaking beautiful. Oh! Ever since I've gotten this coverage done, though... Like... Sappers have not been a thing. And they will probably continue not being a thing. Because you, you, you're not getting in. You're not getting in undetected. It's just not gonna happen. Cargo pods, what you got for me? Rat leather. Mmm. Love it. It's beautiful. Perfect. Possibly professional, but not really. How you doing, Anthal? What, what are you doing in Duster's room? You creep... What are you doing going in Alanya's room? You creepy-ass man. Get out of our colony. What the hell? Man. Weirdo. But yeah, we're very well protected. All things considered. We're going to have to extend down here, too. Like we're doing for this area. And we'll have to do that for this one as well. So, let's go out by two. Yeah, by two. Round it out. Boom. Let's see. That is obviously fine. That's fine. Uh, Red is being attacked. Red has been killed by a... Oh, uh, wow. Alanya, I'm sorry about that. At least you didn't lose anything. Ooh, a psychic ship! That's actually good! Hello, Plasteel, my old friend. Nice to see you around again. Alright. Let's get a team ready to go. alley -oop. You're all enough. Gigi, what are you running away from? You're, you're fine. Alright, let's get a team going. Take out this psychic ship right away. Don't even give it a chance. Cat and go get some food. I'm sorry that your child... I think it was your child died. Yes, I'm sorry that your child was... Killed by a grizzly bear. All right. Let's get on our stacks here. All right. And Duster, go. Okay. Here we go. Four of you first. Wait, are you all ready to fire? Let's see. You can fire in 15 sec. Oh, we got to wait. <laughs> they are not all ready to fire. It could be another minute before our Devastator is ready to go. All right. Stand around for a minute, please. Alright, it's getting it's a little bit nuts. There we go. Twelve seconds ten seconds. There we go. It's close enough. Alright, we don't have anyone out here, do we? No. Hit this. Do what you do best. Alright. Good, good, good. 
Here it comes. All right. This one. Ah, oh, you overshot it. You dinkus of dinkuses. Master dinkus. Dinkus extraordinaire. I didn't mean to actually... I didn't mean to get you, Alanya. Go, go back to bed. Go heal up. Yeah. Callie, though, you should be part of this. Yeah. Even though you're in a bit of a mood, because there's a low psychic drone. Alright. Wait for the next shot. Here it comes. And the Devastator should shoot automatically. We only need one. Oh, there we go. Alright, shell loaded. Operating turret. Let's go! Oh, suck it down! <laughs> yeah! Let's move. Alright. Get into our new defensive area, which of course they're coming from the wrong side, but that's okay. And we've pissed them off. They're coming right our way, which is fine. Alright, I think we're gonna be just fine here. Triple, I need you here. Uh, Silvermane, I don't need you. I do need Pepsi. Pepsi, come on. Triple, you're needed. Dismiss, you're needed. Let's go. Alright, those Scythers are gonna get here first. We actually might need our team to uh, hold up here. Yeah, hold up over here. Alright, let them engage over there. Oh, yeah. They don't stand a freaking chance. Alright, good job. Alright. Dismiss, let's get you in a position where you can shoot at least. Alright, good stuff, good stuff. Excellent. Good shot from Dismas as well. He's done it. This guy needs to go down next. Is Dismas able to shoot? Not yet. Alright. Let's get a little closer here. Okay. I'm trying to be slightly sneaky about it. Alright, Dismas can still shoot from here. He has a good shot, too. Alright, this I'm worried about. Radiation cannon. Another radiation cannon. You're going a different way with your Inferno, so I'm not not worried about you necessarily. All right. Dismiss, are you shooting? You are. That's good. I am concerned. All right. Okay, yeah, he is aiming at us. <laughs> and he's down. Okay, we're going to split up. We need Team A to go down here. And we need Team B to split up and go somewhere else. All right, you're Team B. Bulpy Dismas, Pepsi, and myself. All right. Teammate Duster, do you have... You do not have EMPs. That's okay, though, because he's down. Let's go after this guy. Dismas, I want you to head down here, and we're going to take out the psychic ship. You guys are going to help with this, though. This is an Inferno cannon. Oh, shoot. Oh, I told him to walk right into it. That was bad. Okay, D right, you're fine. The snow helped you. We've done it. Minor burns. He'll be fine. All right. Good work, guys. 2,500 years old. Couldn't even take on a stupid colony full of idiots. How do you feel about that? Mmm. Age is just a number. Works both ways, folks. All right. Oh, we lost a lot of Scyther parts there, unfortunately, but we're okay. Tame and Buffalo. Okay, rest of us are gonna come over here. Uh, Pepsi, you're actually good to go. Go home. The rest of us, tear this thing apart. All right. We'll get the goodies within. What you got for me, Mr. Ship? Ah, ha, 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 ha. Another Persona Core. That is literally it. All right, then. I guess Volpe, go ahead and drag that in. That's not great at all. Uh, solar Flare, well, all right. That was just in time, I guess. Good thing we got that fight taken care of first. All right, Solar Flare is going to take some time. It is going to slow down our um, our growth here for our crops, but this one's still at 90%. It's 11 degrees outside, which means nothing's going to die. We have rice. And that's nice. I like that. Getting some veggies up in this house. We got rice and berries already. Beautiful. Perfect. Possibly professional, but also maybe not. 
and we are at 418 fertilizer. I want 505. I'm probably going to put it on the corn first because more corn means more fertilizer. And it's just a not so vicious cycle. Also, these things should really be um, uninstalled and put in the factory because that's closer to where the corn gets plucked, shucked, harvested. You know what I'm trying to say. And it's where we'll drop that stuff off and then turn it into fertilizer. So, you know, it just makes more sense. That's what I'm trying to get at. I'm asleep in the middle of the night, which is not the best time for me to be, be asleep. But it is what it is, and that's all that it is. It is 9 degrees in our freezer. That's not exactly great. But all this food is going to take a while to spoil, so we're fine. And we can still smoke meat, which will make it last longer. Because we are smart. All right. Battery situation can't do anything. Is this freaking volcanic winter ever going to go away, man? Two quadrums. Two. That's like more than one. If you didn't know that. Now you do. d writes fully healed. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. Pepe, what you doing? How's it going? Solar flare is over. All right. Lights are back on, or at least they're coming back on slowly. And you know what? There's actually a decent amount of wind right now, too. Life's pretty good. I'm not complaining too much. How are we doing on the uh, electric smithy here? We made a couple more swords. Where are they at? Let's go ahead and just take a look at all of our swords. Just like that. Oh, three of them in our X are in the excellent area. Look at that. Excellent. Superior. Alanya's cruelty. Oh, I forgot to give that to Alanya. When she wakes up, I'll make sure she equips it. Everyone should have a sword with their name on it. I mean, come on. A uh, masterwork long sword. That's d rights Yeah. Gotta switch over that wooden one as well. So those will go in there. This one's excellent. Pepsi's Raven. It is Pepsi teaching a hall to a husky as others look on. Pepsi, you're getting a long sword. Nice. Who else gets one? one more over here yet yeah, is that for someone else too torment shadow great name triple strike completing his work on a large sculpture at his quality bench at his workbench i mean sculpture looks to be of excellent quality that's what he's trying to say torment shadow is of triple strike making white cash all right works for me melee weapons for everyone he already has a masterwork sword though but an excellent steel sword is definitely worth more than a Masterwork wooden one. We can sell the masterwork wooden one for money. So it still works. I'm happy with it. You're happy with it. We're all happy with it. All right. Life's going all right. But yeah, no, I'm definitely not contending that raids by themselves are any danger to us because it's obvious that they're not. That said, there are still combinations of things that could kill us. Like, if the solar flare happened before we attacked that psychic ship, we would have been in a lot more trouble than we were. Or, let me correct that, actually. If the order of events had been, I piss off psychic ship, then there was a solar flare, and then we fought it, I would have been in far more trouble than I was there. We would have been in danger of losing probably one or two colonists. Would that have been a danger to the entire colony? No, obviously not. We probably would have been able to take them out, especially with good use of EMPs. But it would have hurt, and it would have hurt hard. So that's kind of what I'm getting at there. Wild Boar Revenge. Here I don't care. He's done it. Cougar Revenge. Triple May Care. He doesn't care. He punched the dang thing. Knocked it right out. Got a little scratch on his jaw, but he doesn't care. Look at that. Punch to the leg was all it took to finally finish him off. He's going to go heal. You know what? Finish it off. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. You might be able to do it. Let's move you closer here. There you go, 100% accuracy. <laughs> Okay, now go rest. There you go. Don't get an infection, please. I know he's going to get one now that, A, I said that, and two, I kept him from going to get healed. Hey, you you guys. We have plenty of muffalo. There, there you go. There, see, that's the thing I say that makes people go, Hey, fat, why don't you make it so they can't breed? And all these things that I don't actually want to do. I mean, don't get me wrong. 
I'm not great at this game. I don't even know if I'm good at it. But I know what I want. I want more animals, because if we go over a threshold, this thing will say, hey, we should eat the ones that are way over threshold. Cool? See, like, we already have five adult male boars. We have one, or one adult male, five adult females. So any more boars that are born that reach adulthood will be slaughtered for maximum uh, efficiency. Bionics workbench is broken down. Muffalo, we do, wow, do we even need three, eight adult males? Let's lower that to five. Yeah. There we go. Once we have five adult males, you know, they're going to be wiped out. And then we'll have ten juveniles. I want to keep juveniles higher than adults because that means we'll have plenty of juveniles that will grow into adults and then they'll be slaughtered. As opposed to if we're slaughtering the juveniles, they don't give us as much meat. As you can see here, 188 meat is the expected amount from an adult one, but 37 from a tiny calf. Don't want to do that. Also, progress till next milking and shearing are here as well. Pigs! Same thing with them. Got five and five for adults is our aim, what we're aiming for. We're actually at capacity for alpaca adults. They don't give us much in the way of meat, but, uh, you know, I still don't want to go overboard on them and have them eat everything. Uh, turkeys, we don't have any anymore. I'm actually just going to go ahead and get rid of that particular one. Huskies, I mean, it's a 500 because I don't want to slaughter and eat huskies because that's... They're huskies, man. They're adorable. There's one in the wild? Oh, no, that's no wild animals. Right, on, Literally right under that. Good job, that. You know how to read. Do I have anything else that's tame that doesn't have an order? Yeah, the Mega Sloth. There is one of these in the wild. I doubt we'll ever, you know, get it done, but it exists. But I think that's about it. The timber, oh, the timber wolves. Don't forget about them. I mean, I don't really care about putting them under an order either. The stir has failed catastrophically while operating on a scyther. I mean, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. We're, I mean, we did lose the arm, that means, but we're just going to take it anyway and sell it. And we're making silver. We're making silver hand over fist with the way that we're creating these swords and things. So you know what? I don't... I'm not too worried. Here's a good sword. That's sellable right there. A good quality sword is sellable. All right, Alanya, come pick up your excellent steel sword, please. And d right, come pick up your new masterwork sword. To replace your excellent one. Alright. Pepsi. Come over here and pick up your excellent sword as well. We are going to equip that as a sidearm. Oh no, that's not yours. <laughs> Wrong one. Sorry, that's yours. Okay, Pepsi. Get, get the correct sword, please. Thank you. Triple Strike. You are going to grab this one. Yeah. Torment Shadow. Cool, cool, cool. Give ourselves a little bit of extra protection here in melee. That'll be good for Triple Strike since he seems to, you know, love hunting those animals that are a little bit strong. You'll notice he did not pull out his sword in combat against the uh, cougar. Which means that his sword DPS was lower. So let's drop this Masterwork one. I mean, it's great and it's called Death. And you can't really, you know, turn that down. But two, every two seconds he does eight, he does seven damage compared to... Let's compare that to his fist. Look at this, look at this. Combat DPS, 3.54. I I don't have the brain power to actually parse this out. I think that's 7 damage point for every 1.6 seconds. I think that's what it's telling me. Ignores target defenses like dodging and armor, of course. But I think that's what it's trying to say there. But I'm not 100% sure. And, you know, his, the sword he has, though. You can walk around while we're doing this. The Steel Longsword, 23 damage every 2.36 seconds. That's got to be more than the Fist. I mean, that's got to be. It can't not be, right? Even this Plasteel Gladius might be stronger, but let's see. Who else picked up a weapon? Pepsi, there's no way that her excellent Longsword is, like, not better than her Fist. Like, 1.6 seconds, 7 damage versus 23 damage every 2.36. That's got to be better. That's got to be. It's pro disproportionately bigger in number. Oh, you gotta, you, you gotta drop this other sword, though, dude. You're right, you don't need that sword. Shut down this mechanoid, and then we'll go ahead and do that. But the Masterwork one, 25 damage every 2.32 seconds. It's so good. And he is so knocked out. Excellent. Perfect. Possibly professional, but definitely going to result in more Plasteel, which is what I want in my life. What the hell is this? Unfinished armor vest. Why is Volpe building it? No. 
No. No, let's... No. No, no, no. You gotta have... You gotta have skill to pay these bills. Sorry, Volpe. There are, there are other crafting projects you can work on that don't... That won't, like, screw with my life. Okay? We actually used all of our sandstone blocks. So we need to make more. Volpe, you could work on that. Also, this just looks derpy as hell. Now that that part's been finished. Okay. Break those down. Break the chains that bind us. Why do we have... Why is this one four wide and this one three? I goofed up there. All right, that's good. Dismas failed something. That's good. This got moved. That's good. That's good. This is good. Das is good. Is good. Ye no, not good. But we have some time there. This one's okay, though. This one's fine. You are alpaca. You are. You are. You do belong to us. A circuit breaker is broken down. I mean, we got kind of got to fix that. So is anyone on that? Dismas is on it. Thank you, sir. That's actually important. Because if that doesn't get done, we're gonna have some troubles. I forgot to do this one. I forgot to do this one. How can I possibly do something that foolish? Anyway. All well and good. Look at all these scythes and things. Persona Core, we could either sell it, because we don't need it anymore. I'm not, uh... <laughs> I'm not gonna put another one in somebody's head. That's not gonna happen. But, and we all already have an AI manager, so we don't really need another one. I like the fact that the AI manager doesn't go crazy nuts, though, by the way. Let's go ahead and uninstall these. We could maybe sell these later. I still don't know what I'm doing with this room. Just take all this out. Have the, we'll let this stuff stay up here for now. I don't know, you guys got any ideas? Let me know. What should I do with this room here? We don't need a research station at all anymore, so... I just don't need it to do that. So I could use it to do something else. I mean, the comms console is in here. So that would be a, that's a decent thing to keep in this area, I think. We have a face styling bench. Let people just redo their face in here. I guess. I don't know. Crafting basket. We don't really need one of those. We don't need to put security in here. That doesn't even make sense. Any furniture we want to put in here? Not really. We could put in some unowned beds. And, like, let animals, not let animals, let people, you know, kind of have this as a guest area. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. You can't really have a guest, a legitimate guest area in this game um, without mods. I had a mod for that about two series ago when I had the uh, hospitality mod, which was okay, but I think it was a little, a little iffy with how it worked. But then again, that was probably just because of how new it was. It was still a great idea, and I I understand that they have updated it for Alpha 17, and I hope they've done great work. I have faith that they have. Hmm. Yeah, there's, like, nothing I want to put in. I can think of that I want to put in here. So I don't even know. Can we, uh... I mean, can someone do these guys up? Oh, you're, you're, you're moving the longsword. That's a normal one. That's a shoddy one. What is this life? What are you giving me here? What's with this crap? Less crap, please. More more masterwork stuff like this. Um, CD right. You're still carrying this wooden one. And I'll tell you what. Go inside. Boop it right there. There you go. At least now it's not breaking down. There goes your gorilla. Hope you enjoyed it while it lasted. Let's... What did I want to do here? Ah, I had plans! I had so many great plans. I was like, I'm going to do something right here, right now. It's going to be great. But then I forgot what it was. Oh, yeah. I'm going to put in order here to like drop this on the ground there you go drop it on the floor drop it on the floor drop these on the floor coolie coolie cool all right and disassemble mechanoids and drop them on the floor excellent volpe see that's something you can do i think that actually helps your crafting skill it totally does granted her crafting skill is not great and it probably never will be because she's not interested in it but Hey, it helps. Gigi, not interested either, but she got herself up to level 10. I mean, come on. Credit where credit's due, right? I mean, look at Duster. He got rebuffed by Hakuja. I'm sorry. But she, this cougar doesn't want any of what you got. She's a little bit hungry right now, though. So if you have some food, we'll think about it. All right. Speaking of food, our cooks are going. Where's Nog? Oh, he's going. He's going. All right. I, <laughs> they're still... Oh, man. They're eating our meals so much because there's nothing else for them to eat right now. There's like no animals out there for them to eat or anything. 
Kind of sucks. Kind of. Are any of our night owls cooks? It's just me and Hakuja. We both have cooking at six. And we're not passionate about it. So the answer is no. Which is unfortunate. But that's okay. It is what it is. Triple Strike has nothing to hunt right now, apparently. Which is unfortunate. Hmm. Unfortunate, but not unbearable. Let's go ahead and deconstruct that stuff there. All right, this one's done. Reinstall. Boom, boom. Reinstall. Boom, 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 boom. Bang, 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 bang. All right. Good stuff, good stuff. Thank you very much for your patronage. Von Child doing it up. Let's just finish this, please. Come on, you're literally right here. He has done it. Okay. Then you can just do whatever you want. I don't care anymore. Boom. Excellent. Perfect. Possibly professional, but also there's a very possible chance that it's not. Do that up. We'll do it up on this side as well. Excellent. Okay. When that's done, we'll move those forward as well. This one is fine right where it is. As long as they're sticking out from that, I'm okay with it. I mean, I could, you know, put the wall out a little bit farther there, but they have to get through the fence first before they can break through this. They still might be tempted to try, but I mean, they're going to have to come right to our turrets to do that. I don't see that being a smart move for them. Dude, you need to get some mood boost up in here, Duster. That's the only reason you're unhappy is because you don't have any mood boost. What's your, uh, what are you doing right now? Cleaning dirt? That's fine. Do some joy activity, dude. I wish I could tell them to just do joy. I'm, I say that. I know I can, okay? <laughs> I can put joy right here for them to make them do joy. But I mean, I wish I could put it in order saying, hey, go take a break right now. Right in the middle of your work. Stop. Take a break. And then go back to your work later. That's what I wish I could do. I, I want, I need to, I feel like I needed to clarify that. Oh, just a little bit. I do want to give them some joy time now that I think about it, though. So, I tell you what. Between six and seven, you can have some joy time. That goes for everyone. Nah, that's... that's Don't want it going into eight o'clock. All right. Everyone gets some joy during sit between six and seven. That is an order. You cannot deny it. You must be happy. Or else. It's a... Stupid threat if I ever heard one, but that's okay! Because you know what? We got more major break risk and that. Getting rid of this, the major break risk, will make it all worth it. In my head, in my opinion. You know what? Let's... I just want to see how it works. Let's put the face styling bench right here. There you go. I mean, it makes sense. Your hospital can be a salon. You can have a salon in it. Why not? You give me a reason why not, I'll tell you why you're wrong. Alright. Oh my god, we're harvesting corn! Guys, I'm so happy right now. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Also, these, these planter boxes have to get moved. These compost boxes. So, let's get these moved. Here. Got more. I know I got more. Where are you? Where are you, little bastards? There's another one. There's two. I got five of them, if I remember correctly. So, three. Move you right there. Four. And I see the fifth one as well. Now go all the way to the corner, which is both perfect and possibly professional. Anyway, get those moved over. Beautiful. Harvest this corn. Oh, yeah. Oh, she harvested this corn so hard it turned into berries. Did you see that? That was amazing. Oh, my God. I don't even know how you did that. But it made me happy in the pants. Yo, there's some more uh, corn here. You want to harvest that stuff, too? I mean, it's 100%. Ah, who cares? Machiavelli being, being Machiavelli. 300 corn at a time. That's good stuff. Okay, got some superior long swords still. Got any new ones that I want to look at? Eh, most of these are kind of o just okay. Nothing making me super happy. 665 plasteel, one away from a great number. Or so I've heard. And that's going to be it for this episode of Thet Plays Rim World Alpha 17, guys. If you enjoyed it, make sure to let me know by giving it a like if you have not already. Feel free to subscribe for more Rim World coming out all the ding dang time. Thank you again for watching this episode of... Oh, God. One moment here. There you go, Von Schaal. Go get some freaking rest, you, you poor idiot. Thank you for watching this episode of Thet Plays Rim World Alpha 17. My name is Thet, and I will see you in the next video.